What's up guys, it's Nathan here. Today, we're gonna explore the challenges faced by borrowers in 2023, as mortgage rates continue to rise at an unprecedented pace. We've seen fixed rate periods coming up for expiry now, and high inflation costs adding to the cost of living pressures for many, and households are now anxious about the future. We'll examine the risks facing many borrowers, including increased repayments, potential for default, and the phenomenon known as mortgage prisoners for those that are unable to refinance to better deals. We'll also take a closer look at the Reserve Bank of Australia's recent decision to pause interest rate hikes and the potential implications of this move. So buckle up as we navigate through the complexities of the current financial landscape and the challenges that lie ahead for borrowers in 2023. This year is shaping up to be a challenging one as many borrowers are facing difficulties as mortgage rates have risen at an unprecedented pace. Many borrowers will face challenges as they transition from ultra low fixed rates with some unable to make the increased repayments or potentially unable to even refinance their loans. Mortgage rates have soared by 3.5 percentage points in just the last year alone. And although fixed rate periods still protected numerous borrowers, most have those low interest rates expiring in the next year. Compounded by high inflation and the cost of living pressures, 2023 is becoming a year of anxiety for countless households. So what are the actual risks faced by many borrowers? Will these increased repayments on the mortgages force property sales or defaults? And will there be a significant number of mortgage prisoners that will be unable to refinance to better deals? And if you find value in these videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it really helps out the channel. And a big thank you to all our subscribers for your support inspires us to create more content we hope you enjoy. The Reserve Bank of Australia's Financial Stability Review delves into these risks, revealing that 15% of borrowers are likely to struggle with higher mortgage repayments. According to the RBA's analysis, factors such as rising interest rates, inflation, and unemployment will dramatically reduce many borrowers' spare cash flows, the money remaining after their mortgage repayment and other expenses. Approximately one quarter of borrowers will experience a decline in spare cash flows by more than 25% over the year. For 15% of borrowers, this will result in negative cash flows, rendering them unable to afford their loans. It's uncertain how these vulnerable borrowers will cope. Some may increase their incomes and cut expenses to continue to meet their mortgage repayments. With the low unemployment rate of 3.5%, it's hoped that many will find solutions on their own. Nevertheless, if the labor market conditions worsen, especially a spike in unemployment, an even greater number of households could struggle throughout the year. Many borrowers manage to significantly increase their mortgage repayments in redraw or offsets during the pandemic period as interest rates dropped. Almost half of borrowers currently have over one year's worth of repayments saved up in their mortgage accounts, which will help cover them in the event of income shortfalls for extended periods of time. However, 40% of those borrowers have less than three months of mortgage payments saved up, and 20% of them seem to have almost no savings to fall back on if their repayments become unmanageable. There is likely a strong correlation between these low saving borrowers and those with negative spare cash flow after the interest rate increases, making them more prone to falling into arrears. Fortunately, lenders will have to work with struggling borrowers, offering them solutions like interest only periods or repayment deferrals to achieve the best outcome for both parties and help borrowers keep their homes. In extreme cases where higher repayments are insurmountable, borrowers will need to sell their homes. Thanks to significant property price gains in the recent years, most borrowers should be able to sell their properties and fully repay their loans. Less than 2% of loans currently have a loan to value ratio of over 90% of the property value. Refinancing presents another challenge as 16% of borrowers cannot pass the updated 
serviceability assessment that the banks use when assessing your borrowing power. This is preventing them from being able to obtain a better deal. These mortgage prisoners are under additional pressure as they continue to pay uncompetitive rates. There have been calls to reduce this serviceability buffer that the banks use, but an alternative solution is a like-for-like -like repayment, which allows borrowers to switch lenders without new serviceability assessments if they have consistently met their loan repayments. Some lenders have begun to offer this pathway in order for borrowers to be able to get better deals with lower repayments and lower interest rates. Now, despite the Reserve Bank of Australia pausing rate increases, the combination of higher interest rates, inflation, and rising rents means 2023 will remain a challenging year for many borrowers. While most will manage to transition, a significant portion will struggle, underscoring the need for tailored solutions and support for navigating these difficult financial times. The Reserve Bank of Australia has recently decided to pause its interest rate hiking strategy, leaving the cash rate at 3.6% after 10 consecutive rate rises. Now, despite this pause, more rate hikes may be needed to address inflation, which remains high with the labour market still very tight. The Reserve Bank of Australia's board meeting debated whether to impose another 0.25 percentage point increase, but they ultimately opted to wait and see the lagging impact of the previous rate hikes. The board expressed its concern that historically high levels of immigration might push up demand, further increasing inflation. Population growth could lead to significant pressures on demand, especially for housing, which could result in higher consumer prices. The net effect of a sudden surge in population growth could be somewhat inflationary for a period. The minutes of the meeting showed that the Reserve Bank of Australia board members were worried about the risks of larger wage increases in certain parts of the economy, including the public sector. However, after tightening policy significantly in a short period of time, the Reserve Bank decided to pause and allow more time to gather information. The full effects of previous rate hikes on the economy haven't yet been observed, considering there are lags in the transmission of monetary policy. The rate increases have contributed to a slowing down on the housing market, a considerable slowing down in consumption and financial pressure for segments of households with home loans. However, the Reserve Bank of Australia remains committed to do whatever it takes to tame inflation, warning that more rate hikes are a full possibility. The Consumer Price Index inflation reading is due next week, which may serve as a potential trigger for a review of the pause. This reading will be valuable in assessing the economic outlook and determining if there needs to be further tightening in the monetary policy. The Reserve Bank's decision to freeze rates was not influenced by concerns about the stability of banks in the United States and Europe. The strength of the Australian banking sector means that the financial system resilience was not considered in the decision to pause the rate hikes this month. The Reserve Bank might also look to New Zealand, where the central bank has its cash rate target of 5.25 set and is expected to raise rates further. New Zealand also has a more significant fixed rate mortgage cliff than Australia with about 90% of borrowers fixing in their rates for terms between six months and five years. Approximately half of these fixed rate mortgages will be rolling off this year with some rolling onto rates that are nearly tripling causing a substantial increase in repayments. And remember to hit share, like, and subscribe to stay up to date with all things property and finance. There has been an increase in the number of New Zealanders falling behind on their mortgage repayments with the number of arrears rates up 23% in the past year to 1.29%. However, this isn't a significant concern as this is still below the average level seen before the pandemic. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand moves to tighten lending standards during its housing boom, which may have helped in contrast to the Australian Prudential Regulators move to relax some of their lending buffers in mid-2019. The Reserve Bank's next move will be closely watched 
at the meeting in the 2nd of May. Money markets are still tipping continued pause in the cash rate movement, but are now pricing a 30% chance of an increase. Borrowers are facing significant challenges in 2023 as mortgage rates have risen at unprecedented levels and fixed rate periods are coming up for expiry, leaving many to navigate these uncertainties of increased repayments, potentially selling their properties or even defaulting, and the Reserve Bank's recent pause in rate hikes provides temporary reprieve. But the possibility for further increases still remains. As we've discussed, tailored solutions and support for struggling borrowers are essential to help them manage through these difficult times. By understanding these risks and potential impacts, borrowers can be better prepared. So here at Hunter Galloway, we are mortgage brokers. And if you're in a situation where you're experiencing difficulty, you wanna review your home, you wanna purchase, upgrade, downgrade, Get in touch with us, we can help. As I said, there's no cost for our service. We're a mortgage broker. We deal with people Australia-wide. So contact us on 1300 088 065 or visit our website huntergalloway.com.au. You can fill in our contact form, reach out with us where we'd be more than happy to have a chat and understand your situation as well as give you some solutions. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, 